Hello, this is Eric here, and I just wanted to talk about how we handle uh, ILS, Integrated Library System Updates, uh, with our library ILS, which is Koha. It's an open source ILS, and we're supported by Bywater Solutions, who host our uh, instance and also provide like support for us and biannual updates. Um, so one of the things we do when we run into a problem is I have a GitHub repository that has lots of customizations to fix various bugs or issues that we encounter. Uh, Koha lets you customize the CSS and JavaScript of both the staff-facing admin side and the public-facing catalog. Um, so I just have a folder for each of those various things, and that allows me to sort of keep track of the customizations that I'm doing in one place, um, combine all the files, and then paste them into these admin settings to solve problems. Um, as you can imagine, we're dealing with lots of issues, like lots of little things, lots of tweaks that we want to make. Um, you can see there's like a dozen or so files in this folder. So one thing that I do to keep on track of that is I have a bug tracking spreadsheet. Um, and what's really nice about this is that other people can contribute to it. So that's why I'm using this just easy to understand Google spreadsheet uh, as opposed to um, using GitHub's issue tracker, for instance. But also um, I can kind of create various filterable data points related to what version issues get fixed in and I can create links out to um, our modifications in GitHub, as well as the public bug tracker that Koha has. And this is where Koha being open source is a real boon, because we can actually see the conversations around bugs and what's happening and when they're going to be fixed. That's all public and transparent. So for instance, looking at this uh, highlighted row here, this was an issue with logging in. Um, that we had, I applied a JavaScript hack that just adjusted things and fixed it for us. But I can also see in um, Bugzilla, which is Koha's bug tracker, a conversation ab about this happening. Um, so it's ongoing, it's ongoing. And then towards the bottom, um, we see when the uh, fix is actually pushed to stable versions that we're eventually going to receive as part, as our, as part of our periodic updates. Um, so when I see that fix come in and we get upgraded to it, um, I know that it's coming in in the 17.05 version. I can then go into my GitHub customizations and delete out that file. So it's obviously not the worst thing if we have a customization sitting there that's no longer needed, but it could create a conflict. It's just unnecessary code. It increases like um, our overhead in terms of you know number of files that are in the project, um, the complexity of things that are going on. So it's just good to be able to remove that when it's no longer needed. And I know when that's happening because of my spreadsheet, because I can just filter to the version that we're getting upgraded to, see the customizations that are no longer needed, and delete them out. So that's, uh, that's the basics of it. That's what's really handy about it. Um, ways that we keep on track of what's happening and the various bugs that are affecting us, uh, people report things into the spreadsheet, but also I read the release notes that get released. And um, they're very, very long. <laughs> if uh, you can tell here, this is a very long page that goes on and on and on and on. And uh, again, links out to Bugzilla over and over again, which is really handy for us. So I try to read through all these. I try to keep on top of them. When we're getting a new version update, there's a series of webinars hosted by Bywater. And uh, the people who work with various Modules within the ILS will view those and stay on top of them. They'll let me know about changes they want to make to administrative settings or fixes that uh, we can remove or apply. So that's one way that we keep on top of things. But even with all that, um, sometimes things fall through the cracks. So just a, a thing that happened, a very small thing that happened this summer uh, that sort of highlights this is there was a change to this setting. Um, this is the admin side of Koha. It was a change to mark lost items as returned. And this used to be a Boolean setting that was just like yes or no, basically. But it became a list of options. And the behavior changed a little bit. And we weren't on top of things. Um, the behavior changed. Uh, a circulation manager noticed that something wasn't behaving as expected. And we had to go investigate and figure it out. And um, you know, the fact of the matter is we just completely missed it in um, a newsletter that went out from Bywater. So this is, again, our, our support company 
and they had uh, warned us about this completely. There's a little video, it explains the changes, it says uh, what the setting is doing now, and we could have just been on top of that and fixed it without uh, encountering this problem. So even with all this system, uh, it's really hard to keep track of all these little minor changes, but the um, sort of spreadsheet and GitHub repo setup that I have has been very useful for keeping a lot of uh, balls in the air at once. You know, we have a lot of fixes going on, and this is the overall view, but usually what I, I keep it to is I um, clear out all the old versions. Um, so we're on like 17.11 now, and I just look at the ones that are gonna be upcoming and not fixed. And so now I know um, when 18.05 comes around um, that this issue is gonna be fixed. And I, in fact, this is an issue that I submitted a patch for, another benefit of it being um, open source. But you can see that there are other issues that we have fixes in various places that don't have anything um, coming down the line in, in new versions that are going to resolve them. So that's how we deal with ILS updates and keeping track of bugs and our own customizations.